So to start up the look, you're going to want to just detangle your hair and have it mostly not free so that it is easier to curl and everything of that sort. My bangs were pre-curled, so they're pretty dumb looking right now, so bear with me. So we're going to section off our hair. And also a note, you're going to want to do this whenever your particular hair takes curl the best. Um, I am using, I believe, like second day old hair. Um, I didn't do anything to it yesterday, so that's why it's in the natural state. But you just take your hair whenever it curls um, the best. So we're going to be taking a 1 and 1 fourth, I believe, curling wand. Mine is super old and super beat up, but it still works. So we're going to go so you're going to place the wand behind the hair and just begin to wrap around it. And we're going to hold that for like 15 seconds and we're going to cup that and kind of bounce it around. I feel like this is how my hair kind of keeps the curl the longest. And we're going to get a little curl like that. So we're going to just repeat this step. Oh and yeah, as you can tell, my sectioning is not the greatest, but yeah, do what works for you, girl. And then again, we're going to take that other part and just wrap our hair, you know, kind of feel how long we want it there. And again, we're going to drop it and cut. And we're going to conti continue to section off our hair. And I did um, put a heat protectant. I use the It's a 10. Um, but that's very crucial so that you're not burning off your ends. And with each section, I like to give a little extra brush through. And again, we're going to section. I like to work from the back inward just so that I don't miss anything. And we're going to take our wand and just wrap and hold 10 to 15 seconds and then we're going to cup it up there. We're going to catch that. We're going to kind of bounce it again and then let it drop. To our top layers, we don't want to crawl as much to the root as we would in our other layers just because we want to showcase the braids. You don't want to crawl away from the root. If you do have little curly hair at the top of your root, you just want to bring it in to smooth it out but keep the curl towards the end of the hair. And again, we're going to catch that. So we're going to take our bangs, or if you don't have long bangs like I do, you can just take um, your shortest layer that frames so your face. you can just separate it into three sections like you would any normal braid. And you do want to start fairly close to the root. You can also do this with any other braids that you might know. Like, if, like I don't know if a fish tail braid would work, but like a French braid or a Dutch braid that's kind of incorporating more hair. But since... This is kind of like a quick go-to hairstyle. I kind of try to keep it simple. And keeping our hair away from our face is perfect for spring since the weather will be. So we're going to do the same thing on the other side. 
can separate and start a poop group. And you do want to braid in the direction that you're going to be pinning your hair. So I like to braid my hair kind of going backwards since that's how I'm going to pin my braid. So that is our finished look. You guys could add a little bit of hair serum to take away frizzies. I'm actually going to go in with a new product, the L'Oreal um, Boosted instant lift and fullness spray this is like a finishing spray it's actually supposed to be supposed to be to when you actually tease your hair and then you want to like finish it but i feel like this gives you like instant volume so what i do is i just pick it up like that let's get those underwears and just spray it like that this is our finished look you guys I hope that you guys liked this look if you guys did be sure to give it a thumbs up so that I know to make more hair tutorials and everything like that so thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a great day